Hello, welcome to the video series on project risk analysis with Primavera Risk Analysis. My name is Jacques Alexis. I'm a faculty here in the leadership and project management domain in CPS. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to run a risk analysis, a quantitative risk analysis in Primavera Risk Analysis. So in the previous video, I demonstrated how to model uncertainty. We entered in the computer minimum, most likely, and maximum duration. If you forget how to do that, it would be a good idea to watch the previous video before we continue. So since I have already modeled uncertainty in my plan, as you can see on the right side of the screen, the next thing to do is to run the risk analysis. So to do this, click on risk from the menu tab and click on run risk analysis. As you can see in this dialog box, I actually can make some changes here. I can show step through my analysis. Actually, I want this to show because I want to understand how my project uh, is changing as the analysis is being performed. And I also want to see the distribution of the raft, which will be the result, uh, the result of, the, of the analysis. So now click on analyze or analysis, right? So uh, let's take a look at one step to see how uh, the software is looking at uh, different possible finish date uh, for the project, for example, or possible duration of project activities. Now, a step is an iteration. Uh, here, we're going to perform a, a, a thousand iterations. So, second step, now you can see how uh, project activities are moving from uh, path to path. Right, from the minimum, most likely, and the maximum path. And try to click go. Ha, huh. that allows you to go faster, right? And if you click complete, it will go even faster. So here is the result of my uh, risk analysis. Now, this is the uh, distribution graph. Now, each bar here, you're looking at the distribution graph, represents how often the project finish on a specific date here, on this um, um, date, on the specific date. From this, we have uh, duration or, or date, completion date for the project. And here we have hits or frequency, number of time. Uh, you, uh, um, the project finish on a certain day. Now, uh, the yellow line, you may be asking, what that is really? It represents the deterministic um, finish date for the project. And what is the deterministic um, project completion date. It is the most likely finish date you uh, estimated by the software in project, uh, in the software, whether it's MS project or Primavera with analysis or whatever the software is, um, the possibility that, or the chance of completing the project by this stage, which is going to be uh, March 31st is only 2%. So when you enter information in the software, and the software, if you enter only most likely estimates, and you may think this is the time you most likely complete the project, but obviously the risk analysis in the software showing you that's actually not the case. The chance for you to complete the project by the date actually that we found in Microsoft project is only 2%. So that gives you an opportunity to negotiate with your um, project sponsor. 
So here, the distribution graph, you want to know what is the chance of completing the project by a certain date. You can just take a look at the date here um, and take a look at the probability. And um, a, a beautiful thing here, if I click on 80%, it's pick an 80% date. So in the 80% of the time, you know, here, uh, they are, you can see dates, um, possible finish dates before 80%, uh, the probability of completing the project on this specific date here, uh, it, that is December 29, 2023, that's 80%. But here, your deterministic date, which is March um, 31st, 2023, is only 2%. And that gives you an opportunity to speak with your sponsor and say, well, you know, I know this is what you want, March 2021st. Um, the chance of finishing this project by that date is very slim. As we say in the IT field, garbage in, garbage out. So you have to make sure that the information, the data you enter in the computer, your estimates are actually accurate. So that's how you run a quantitative risk analysis using primary analysis analysis. And that gives you an opportunity to answer a lot of questions. What is, uh, what date are you uh, um, confident that you and how confident are you the project can be finished by um, um, December 29 here in this case you can say I am 80% confident that the project can finish by December uh, uh, 29 2022 it could be on December or before or before so that's um, what you will really looking out here. So that's how you perform a quantitative risk analysis with primavera risk analysis. Thank you for watching and watch for the next video. Thank you.